Okay, I'd like to introduce um, our next speaker, uh, Dr. David Garber, who's a senior lecturer and uh, researcher of mathematics at Cologne Institute of Technology and a researcher of geometric discussions in rabbinical writings. Well, that's really interesting. Um, Dr. Garber will present a paper he and Dr. Boaz Saban wrote. So we look forward to your presentation. Are we getting sorted? Are we ready? Um, we, we're going to have questions and answers, um, I think, at the end after uh, our presenters have given their presentations. So just try to keep the questions, and it will be very interesting to hear answers as well. With no further ado, thank you. Thank you for the organizer for inviting me because uh, it is really, I'm, I'm really excited to, to be here and uh, for this uh, interesting uh, <coughs> event. Uh, as uh, I was introduced, uh, it is indeed a joint work with uh, Boat Saban about uh, the paper, which is, uh, this uh, talk is based on is, is written about almost 20 years ago, but it's still uh, interesting and fresh, and etc. Okay. So I, I, will I will start with, wha with what is written in the, in the Bible, in, a, in, a Kings, in a First Kings uh, uh, 723. There was uh, some, uh, some uh, molten sea in a, in a King Solomon a, a temple, and the, and the verse is say, he, uh, say like this, and uh, here is the Hebrew, here is the English, and, uh, and he made a molten sea, <coughs> and, and now he, he try to describe its uh, measures, and he say, in, uh, 10 cubits from one brim to the other, it was round all about, and its height was five cubits, and a line of 30 cubits did circle it round about. Which means that if we are looking in the measures, we have a, a width of 10, and its, circle, and its circumference is, is 30, which actually says us that the ratio between the circumference to the diameter is free when we know 
all around this, uh, this room that uh, this uh, ratio should be pi 3.14. So the question is, so this is a starting point. And now, after, uh, after, we, have, after we have this, uh, we are going to see the next, uh, the next stage. We have a discussion in the Talmud. And, and, and there was a rule that appeared some, uh, sometimes in the, in the Mishnah. And here it, it, it is from uh, Eruvin, uh, first, uh, first chapter. Mishnah 5, it says that every circle whose circumference is three hand, hand breadth is one hand breadth wide. wide. We, which actually means that indeed we see the same ratio of three between the uh, diameter and the circumference. And immediately the Gemara asks, once uh, once are this calculation is used, but actually the Hebrew word for this is minahani mile, from where we f we can uh, we know this uh, ratio. In, in, in afterwards, I will I will speak a bit about the the this uh, special word minahani mile in this case. And now Rabbi Yochanan, which was a uh, which was a. Uh, uh, one of the greatest Moraim, he compromised uh, a large part of the uh, Palestine Talmud and also uh, uh, in the, by the uh, Babylon, Babylonian Talmud, he is mentioned for, uh, for, for many times. He wrote, why or from where I know that the ratio is free? The ratio is free from by the, by the verse. I, 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 in in uh, King Solomon uh, uh, a temple about the molten sea, he say that our source for the rule uh, mentioned in the in mentioned mentioned in the Mishnah is from uh, the same uh, uh, from the verse in King Solomon a uh, uh, temple. So the next. Then the Gemara asks, okay, but surely there was the thickness of its brim. Maybe that the, that, the, that the Bible says that it is free. Maybe you are, you are not measuring it correct. Maybe you take the circumference in one place and the diameter in another place. And this is the reason for the free. But, but we somewhere know that it is not free. It's more than free. Okay. So Rapapa reply, of its brim, it is written in a scripture that it was as thin as the flower of a lily. It's, it is Sfat Perach Shoshan. For it is written, and it, and, and it, is, and it was a hand brim, thick, and the brim thereof was worth like the brim of a cup. Like the flower of a lily, and another says that it is a, about its a volume, something about its volume. Okay, so the Talmud continued to ask, but there was still a fraction at least, um, even though the, the brim has some, uh, some, uh, some width, it still is, it, it still. Uh, with, and maybe the computation is not correct, and this is the reason that we get a free and not pi. Then the Gemara say, the Gemara conclude, when the measurement of the circumference when was computed, it was of the inner circumference. Means that we measure both things from the big, uh, from the inside, so the diameter and the circumference is from the uh, fr is from the inside. And therefore, the ratio is exactly free, and we have to study from this that the rule is the ratio of free between diameter and circumference. So if we, uh, so, so this is actually what we can say, that the Talmud insists of learning 
זה רשיו פאי איקוול פרי, פרום זה בייבל, אס אן אקזקט נאמבר, אס אן אקזקט רשיו בטווין מטווין דיומטר אצל קונפרנס. זה מור אובר, let's us be back for a moment for this. I told you, at the Gemara said, מנעני מילי. Usually, if it is a, a something about mathematics, it will say, please bring a rope and check the circumference. Why you, the Gemara didn't say that, or didn't say it is this is exact, she bring a verse. Means, what is that? We actually understand from this, That, uh, we, uh, that we know that uh, because it seems that they know that the value is not mathematically correct. The Gemara already feel, feels that uh, the ratio is not mathematically correct, but still bring uh, a verse in order that, uh, we will, that we will use it for a lachic uh, purpose. So the question now, the next question is, Uh, should we use a more precise vi- value for practical use? Well, now we are, have to construct, for example, a round sukkah or a, a round uh, house. Do we need to go ar- a- according to the exact, values of, exact value of pi? Or we can use the pi in the Bible and in the Mishnah. So the first, uh, the first approach is the approach of, uh, of Rambam, of Maimonides. It is appear in his uh, Perusha Mishnah, his commentary to the Mishnah in, uh, for Eruvin, and he says the following. And, uh, I, and I, I'm going really to read, it is a, a, a quotation from, from, actually it's not a quotation, it is a translation of his words. But I want to read much of it because his, uh, his treatment of this uh, subject is uh, re- really interesting. Because he say, you need to know that uh, the ratio of the circle diameter to its circumference is, is not known. And it is never possible to express it precisely. This is not due to a lack in, an, in our knowledge. It's a sect called Gaalia. Things, but it is in its nature that it is unknown, and there is no way. But it is it is no no way to know it. But it is known approximately. Actually, what are, what my money that say in this part? It say, I know actually that pi is is a complicated number. Actually, mean irrational number because if it was a, some, something rational. We can write it in a different way. They say uh, that, uh, that we do not uh, know the number. It is not because of uh, the lack of our knowledge, but this is uh, the, the nature of this number. But then he continue, uh, and then he continue that the ge- ge- geometers have already write essay about this, ta 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 ta, and uh, And uh, I will now jump uh, almost up to the end. And, and it, will, uh, yes, it will never be perceived by a prog- by a, but approximately. They, the Hebrew sages, took the nearest integer and say that every circle with circumference is three fist is one fist wide. And they contain themselves with this for their need in the religious law. which means that Raman say, you know, be, because we do not have an exact number, you can use it for a lachic use, and it is a, a good for, a, for our a religious purpose, even though it is not exact. This is the first uh, approach. The next approach is by Rashbetz. approach. Uh, Rashbet is a uh, Rabbi Shimon ben Tzemach Duran lived in, the, uh, in this year. He wrote a, 
a book of uh, responsa, and in its uh, part one, response, uh, response uh, 165, he, he deal with this, uh, with this thing, and uh, before uh, I'm, uh, I, I bring him his, uh, his uh, quotation, I want to uh, say, mention uh, Talmud Sahim that, that he mentioned in his uh, writing, that one should always teach his student in the shortest way. Means that one, uh, when, we, when he is going to, to, uh, to teach his student, he needs to do it in the easiest way in order that the, that the student will, will understand. This is a, 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 a good rule for life. Anyway, anyway. Okay. But now what Rashbet say? Rashbet says the following. We have to say one of two things. Or they, that's their tradition, their Kabbalah, want to follow this ways. And even though they are, they are approximated, the measures, Ashurim, they are Alacha to a form Moshe from Sinai. And, uh, and uh, the reason is uh, for this is that the Torah was not given to ministering angels, to Malachi so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, we, we, so we can use, so in his first uh, part he say, we can use, we should use the approximated value. But now he is going to another another direction. Or we say that when they discuss this principle, they do they did so in order to bring the understanding to the student. Like Kareva Avana El Talmidim, in order that the student will understand it. And we know that if we use a, a round number, the answer are very nice. And uh, when we try to use pi, we are in a in a big trouble of a digit after after points. Therefore, he continue. Since one should always teach his student in in, in, in the shortest way, according to Psachim, but for practical use for the masse, we have to be exact according to the true exactness. which. <laughs> We need to use according to the next, uh, to the to be exact, and it is uh, and it is transferred uh, to sages who know the exact measure. It turned out, uh, so now is is conclusion for a uh, for this part. It uh, turns out that the halacha means when one, now when one wants to study, when the halacha is given. Uh, for beginning students, for a Talmudim and Matchilim, and the practical use is given for the sages for computing it exactly according to the truth, exactly called PIM. And this way is correct, in my opinion, for, uh, for uh, explaining the Yosef. Well, so, the, so the approach of the Rashbet say, uh, Rashbet say, for, for why in the Mishnah you take the, the, the round value in order that uh, all, all will be easy. But when I'm going to practice, to practical, I have to go to the exact values. So this is the, the second approach. And the last and the last approach is by uh, someone uh, called uh, Rabbi Matityahu Cohen Munk. He was a teacher in his in a, in a school in uh, New York, and uh, he wrote a paper, uh, a free geometry problem in the Bible and the Talmud, at only 1962, and uh, he 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 he, he, give, he, he a different explanation is say <coughs> something that the temple was a mystic means that usually pi is pi, but uh, where you are in a in a in a, 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 a 
sacred place, the ratio are, are, are starting to be different. For example, and he said that indeed in the temple we have the ratio free, and he said, this is, is, is an idea that in our reality this failed, but in order to join our reality with the world of the truth in the temple, uh, we should use this uh, value when, when we are calculating fin for religious uh, purpose. But now, uh, when uh, one uh, gives such an idea, it is a very nice idea, but before we can uh, say that it is a, a, a correct idea, we have to, uh, to bring, to give an, another, uh, another place that we have the same situation. Uh, does, uh, do we know another place that, uh, that, uh, in, that the geometry in the temple was different? The, the answer is yes. Because in Talmud, of, uh, Talmud Megillah, it was, it was discussed there about something uh, about uh, what is called Mekom Aron in Ominamida. That's a, that's a place of the Aron Abrit, of, uh, of the Ark, has no place in Kodesh Kodesh. How, how, how? The, here is the Gemara. Rabbi Levi say, the matter is a, is a tradition that we receive from our ancestors. The place of, of the ark is not included in the measurement. <coughs> Why? And this is also taught. And uh, we studied from verse in the Bible. Uh, the ark craft by Moses had uh, 10 cubits on each side. It means that it has uh, 10 cubits between the wall and the ark from each side. But on the other end, but on the other hand, when we, convert, when we go to measure uh, the Kodesh Kodeshim, it's uh, 20 cubits. Means, if you look, this is all the Kodesh Kodeshim, and we have 10 cubits in each side. Is it, is there, uh, therefore, we find that the uh, place of the Ark is, no, is, is not counted, which, which uh, we said that uh, indeed, there was a, a geometric miracle in the temple. And this is a, some evidence for, the, for a, Rabbi Matiteo Kren Munk for saying that indeed the ratio also was a miracle and therefore it was free. One, uh, almost one, one uh, last interesting point is that although we know from the Bible the ratio of three. There is a place that uh, many, 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 many people say we have a clue for the exact, for much exact value of three of pi from the Bible. Uh, uh, now here I want to say about it, uh, the source of this clue. There are many, many people uh, who, fought, who, who thought that, uh, that uh, this clue might be related to Agra, but as I, as, I, as I know from some people, uh, they didn't find this uh, clue in uh, Agra, in Gra writings. Uh, the, the, play, the earliest place that uh, this clue is appear is something about uh, 50, 60 years ago. So, so this is a... Wasn't it um, Rav... Uh, what's his name? The rabbi who also found the Mishnah Torah with the letters in between? Rav Weissmandel. I don't know about it. Wasn't this Rav Weissmandel? No. I saw it in, in a journal from England about the 1970s. Yes, uh, but I say it's still it about 56 years. It's I, not I, more than that. I heard that it was discovered by Rav Weissmandel. I don't know voice, if you have a place, I will be happy to see. Okay? So wh what is the idea? The idea was that, uh, that uh, if we look on the verse in the Bible, 
we saw that uh, here is the uh, verse, but the word Vekav, Shloshim Bama, the Sovet of Saviv, is written in different way of writing and speaking. That uh, its writing is Kuf Vav Hei, but when I, I, I have to speak it, Kri, uh, Kri is Kav. The Ktiv writing is uh, Kave, and the and the speaking is uh, is cup. So the idea is take the uh, the gematria of the word kave and of the word cup, and the relation between their gematria should tell us something about the relation between pi and free, which is mentioned in the verse. So if we compute the gematria of a uh, of, of Kave, it a uh, it a uh, one 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 hundred uh, eleven, and if we compute Kav, it is one hundred six. Now, when we compute the relation, this relation, and we multiply it by three, which which is mentioned in the in the verse, we we have we got the number three and fifteen over one hundred six. Which, uh, which is, what, first, it is three, uh, four digit after the point uh, of pi, which is means that we have a really a good approximation uh, using this uh, clue. And moreover, this, uh, this uh, is uh, the first continued, uh, continued fraction of, uh, of pi uh, when uh, you present pi as a continued fraction. Uh, okay, so if we want uh, to summary that we actually uh, saw, uh, uh, so the free approaches that we see whether the one has to use, <laughs> if we have to use the exact value or the approximated value, we saw the Maimonides that say we cannot uh, reach to buy anyway, so take the uh, approximated value Rush, but say, take the uh, take the uh, the round for the student for a lucky for a uh, and for a uh, and for a uh, and for a uh, uh, for for a lucky cube. When we want to use it, we need to take the exact. And the last one here was of moon, which says that uh, it is was a mystical approach. That in the temple we have a, a different. Role. Thank you. showed that it's the best approximation to pi you can get with the one letter Kriuxiv difference. Okay. Uh, secondly, I heard it with an additional step. Why are we multiplying by 3? Because Kav Shloshim. If Kav approximates pi over 3, then pi over 3 times 30 is 10 pi. So, uh, so you mean that... I, I heard an explanation that said, why are we multiplying it by 3 to get the approximation yes. of pi? Because it says Kav Shloshim. Okay. And pi over three times thirty is ten pi, the exact circumference. Okay. I don't uh, Never mind. Do, do you want to stand up? Sure. Maybe, maybe can you explain it a little bit better? Okay. Okay. Write it out. Uh, uh, can I take a marker? Uh, yeah. Yes, and you have a whiteboard there. And uh, sorry, what is your name? It's Hot Dickman. If Cobb no. hints at uh, pi over 3, it says Cobb Shloshim. So pi over 3 times 30, which is 10 pi, okay. the exact circumference. Okay. Uh, 
Ah, and you say that the pay of a free is a, yeah. is a, is a, is a relation between a, between the, 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 the Yeah. Yes. Okay. Could you stand up? Yeah. <coughs> uh, another source in the Gemara, Ahmad Tamil Chacham, I was in the Shia today, which discusses this. Uh, okay. And sorry, could you introduce your name? Yeah, my name is Eli Paso. Uh, the t talks this is in Baba Bhatra Dafya Dalit talks about the Torah should be the same height as circumference. And they're trying to figure out how the Torah fit into the uh Arana Kodesh. The Arana Kodesh. And, they, and they say that the height of it is six, six on mode, and they say that the diameter is two. Which uses the value of three for, for pi. Yes, so there, is, so there yeah. you use the approximated. I, uh, yeah. I, I didn't mention that there are a lot of uh, discussion in the. Wait, doesn't Sukkah give an approximation of three and a seventh? Uh, no. Oh. Seven. Three. Rashi, Rashi, Not Rashi. only on commentary. No, I think it gives, a, it gives an approximation oh. of root two of, of numbers. Uh, root, Rashi, root two is, it is a different issue. Rashi. Oh, Rashi. Okay, uh, Dr. David um, Garber, I really want to thank you for a, a fascinating and a really, really interesting and an amazing presentation. And on behalf of all of us, really, a lot of work went into your your paper and uh, really, it's really outstanding.